Aloha everyone, this is Shiloh again. Um, figured I had a break in the wind and the rain. Finally after, I don't know, maybe three weeks of just constant crazy weather uh, that I could do a quick little brief, hopefully a brief update on how things are doing in the yard. Um, as you can see, still got some gray skies looming overhead so let's see if I can get some content out before it just completely dumps on me um, so I guess I'll start with the 25 gallon Sabra Jabba de Kaba. so I did a pruning video on this where it had never been pruned as far as I could tell and it was just hard to even see inside it so I'll show you kind of what it looks like now I did get a couple set of flowers on it, but no fruit set as far as I can tell. So hopefully I'll be a little more lucky as time goes on and get a good crop off of it. But you can see here, after I pruned it, we got all sorts of luscious new growth going on. And this tree was like on fire with tons and tons of new growth, all the tops have just great looking leaves. So this thing seems to be pretty happy even though it's maybe a little big for its pot. I have no idea. That's just kind of speculation. The soil was so non-existent when I got this plant. You could just see like the roots root mound on top is like it all washed out the bottom so what i did is i um aside from also pruning it and stuff i added some good soil on top um, gave it some nutrients and then i keep doing uh, a bunch of like foliar feeding and adding coffee grinds and things to the top so now you can see it's you don't see the roots at least you can see some of the spots where I'd pruned. Like here, I cut a branch off. Um, kind of all around little branches. I still plan on pruning it some more, but I didn't want to do too much at one time in case I was stressing out the plant. Um, you can see there's a lot of like new growth in some of the areas that I may or may not just rip off, like things like this. If they're going to be growing like inward towards the plant, I'll probably just break them off while they're small. But for the sake of being a little lazy and indecisive, I'm not going to do it just yet. You can see it's very nice looking leaves all around. And it's pretty much every branch is just loaded up with new growth. So I think it will rebound pretty good and hopefully start flowering. I did see a couple flowers that one day and then came back the next day they were gone. So uh, I'll try and keep an eye out and see some more, keep track of them. But this is how she's doing. Um, you can see here where I set up the air layer. I meant to wrap like paper or something on it to keep the sun out, but I never did. And I kind of want to track to see if I see a little um, root growth started and it's gonna be a long time before that happens anyway um, so I think I'm safe with not covering it up I could put tin foil or something around it but I find that anytime I cover something like that it just provides some shelter and then it immediately gets taken over by like ants or something, which I can show you over here. Don't mind the mess, I picked up a bunch of free mulch. They are doing a free mulch giveaway down the road from me. But here's the wax jambu I set up the air layer on. And because I covered in paper, there's just a bunch of ants living underneath it. Because if they tried to live anywhere near the ground, they would just be wiped away with all the flood water we've been getting because we got like f over I don't know, probably like five inches of rain the other day in just three hours or less 
So that's, that's a lot of water to kind of manage. So at one point I had, I don't know if you can tell, I dug up the grass and then pulled like a shovel worth of dirt underneath and then put the grass back down to create some sort of like ditch for it to run over into the drain over here. And that seemed to help quite a bit. At least it pushed the water into one spot and kept it from making the entire yard a swamp. And just now it's half a swamp. Um, here's this tree it's starting to show some new growth and being happy. This is a Novax coliflora. I've done some rooted cuttings from it. I'm hoping that those survive. This one's kind of interesting. It has a lot of weeping growth to it. Um, I was going to do a video on pruning it back to show. Uh, looks like the wind, wind took this branch out pretty hard, so it's probably not going to survive that. Um, I was going to prune a bunch of this dead growth back and balance it out a bit, but since I didn't, you can see they're all starting to sprout again where I thought they were dead. So like this over here, I was going to take that whole branch off since it grows from this side through all over here. I was going to cut that thing off, but now it's got some growth, so it's going to balance out the tree over on this side, and I'll just leave it. This thing's kind of a tangled web, um, but it is a little small, so I'll let it keep going until, um, until I decide to start taking off any lower branches or branches crossing into each other. My papayas, apparently the bags, organza bags, are not enough to keep the birds at bay and they had taken two papayas already from me so i'm trying a little tinfoil see if that helps got mr owl there to move to him next to it see if he deters anything but i think the birds are too smart to worry about that um, here's some of my other linneas here's some red hybrid that i got from lance and it's doing really well. I had some burnt leaves. I think it was just getting really hot where it was. And then now, now that it's in Milani where it gets a lot of rainfall, it's doing really well. Um, ESALQ back there, some whites, some reds, some sabras, some another white. Here's a Patanga, Patanga tuba, I mean, that I got from Flying Fox Fruits. You can see here, it's getting attacked by those, um, call them oriental rose beetles. And I keep finding them on the underneath of the leaves and I throw them in like a milk jug and let them live in that jug until they don't live anymore. Here's um, another red. I forget if I got this, I think I got this one from Flying Fox Fruits as well. It's doing quite well with some new growth. And then this red is very happy. It's got a pretty good trunk size to it. This one was from John Travis Morton. So I'm pretty pleased with that one. Very nice dense canopy. Got some Grimmel. It's kind of a unique looking leaf set on this Grimmel that I got from Flying Fox. So I like to keep this one because it looks quite a bit different than the other ones I have. There's a ESALQ again. This one's got some new growth on it at least. So you can see how pretty it is. I really like the growth habit of these. They're just so neat. Um, Bronca Vinho grafted from Flying Fox. It was just a little like one twig here and one twig there and now it's it's grown quite well um grimmel 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 red reds as i suspected it's starting to rain on me so i've got some uh here's a ariana some new leaves novak Petrantha. Here's another Novak coliflora. It's got some new looking growth on it. Looks very happy. 
Okay, what else we got before the rain destroys everything? So here's some an update on some of my graphs. Here's, you guys didn't see me do this graph, but this is a grafted uh, polista. I got the scions from, from Lance. These are some of the first graphs I did. And they seem to be pretty happy. On this Sabra, I did some multi-graphs. So you can see here, the same time I did the video, I grafted Grimmel to this one. So it's got new growth coming out of here. So that thing seems to be happy. This is a failed polystograft. Over here is a polystograft that took a long time, but it finally decided it wanted to live. It was off just this tiny little stub of a scion. Like only like a, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, this long. So that's the union. <laughs> and decided to pop out like half an inch up and take. So that's pretty neat. Um, let's see what else we got on here. Here's another polystograft. The same thing, it likes to just pop out right from the bottom. It's got a couple of other spots it wants to try from up here. And here's another polystograft that comes off of this branch over here. And it's actually coming off of this other branch here. This is a, a like a scion that I kept in a Y format and grafted it right there. So that's, just pleased to see that that one was successful. And then on the video I did, this graft here, so this Grimmel. And you can see it took a little while, but eventually it pushed out all this new growth. And it's even reaching over to this other Sabra. So this is happy. And then off video, but the same, same time I grafted this Grimmel here. And I'm still on the fence of whether or not it's gonna take because it pushed out, but then it, like this tip died back. So I think it's possible it could be rejecting it. And you can see right here, it died back too. So I'll just cross my fingers, hope it takes, but it doesn't really matter because I put one, two, three, four, three or four, I forget, three Grimmels on here. Sorry about the barking dogs. They apparently hate me and want to bark all the time every waking hour, just constant bark, 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 bark. But hopefully it keeps the people away from my yard, not stealing things. Here's a couple of rejected graphs. They're not gonna take, you can see they're a little, whoop, they're not happy. This one I'll just pray and hope. This was a sapopaya that, it was pretty much a micrograph, so, I had very little chance of taking anyway, but let those reside there until I figure out what to do. Um, let's see, there's that red, uh, Biriba or Rolinia right here. Um, I think I up-potted that one, maybe not. Got cacao chocolate here. It's grafted from Frankie's. It doesn't have any flowers yet, but I think it's getting close to the size where it might start putting some things out. Um, I had a, f here's the long end that I up potted and you can see it's surviving, new growth. I don't know what kind it is. So if you guys know based on the leaves, you can tell me. Long end or dragon eye fruit. There's mature leaves. Here's some new leaves up here. They're skinnier than some of the other ones I've seen, so hopefully that is easier to tell what it is. Apple banana. They're getting close, I think. Maybe a couple more weeks. I'll be ready to pick. Back here's Sabara that I got from a friend's yard where I got fruit from. He while I was picking his fruits, he dug up four seedlings, volunteers, that were just growing underneath the tree. 
so he was very generous enough to give me these and they're pretty far along so maybe if I get something hefty to graft on I'll graft him I'll probably do a multi graft because I like I like doing multi grafts or cocktail trees there's one there's one there's three and then four and here's a kombucha plenty of edulis got from Frankie's I potted it I'm not sure how old it is I'm guessing a couple years old just by how thick it is it's got this black soot mold and um, the scale on here so I keep breaking things off little scaly bugs and I've been cleaning the leaves doing different regimen but it's probably gonna be a little while before I can get those looking nice and pretty again another kombucha there's a HK hybrid or the Ariana Fetrantha hybrid doing quite well. Heshtinga. Another kombucha. I had heavy winds so I put a couple dowels there to kind of keep it from blowing over and snapping off. And then I believe this is also a Heshtinga. Yeah. Blania Klausa here. It's got some new growth coming on it. That's pretty cool looking. Um, here's a Grimmel. It's pushing out some new growth. It's kind of a long, lanky guy. This is a white that I got from Frankie's. It's a seedling from one of their trees. It's got new growth. It looked pretty pretty beat up when I got it like had only a few leaves on it but since moving here it seems to be doing well um, scarlet more scarlet a giant red crystal and here's my big biriba or um, rosonia I just up potted this uh, I don't know maybe a month ago and it seems happy growing new has new growth on it I like the way the leaves are when they come out I threw all my plants down here just because this turns into a big swamp and it fills up with water so I was like well maybe I'll just throw some plants there and it'll soak up some water and make my yard less muddy or just make the plants happier I got ESALQ back here. No new growth on this one yet. A curry leaf tree. It was looking pretty sad where it was in the front where it wasn't getting rain and so I moved it back here. And it's starting to rebound and turn darker green again. Um, here's some um, scarlet, scarlet, or escarlate. Another scarlet. Here's a grafted, um, improved lemon drop mangosteen or Garcinia brasiliensis, I believe. I'm not sure if these are gonna be flowers or what, but I think this was originally grafted from flying fox fruits over here. I picked it up from Lance. Here's Ruby. Linea ruby. Put it in a deep pot. And I think I probably put it in there a little too soon because it kind of took a while before it threw out new growth. But it's starting to show some happiness now. Some black sapotes, achachairu, more achachairus back there, or orange bolivian mangosteens. Um, Grisinia brasiliensis, so some more improved lemon drop mangosteens over there. Here, I can zoom in a little bit. Machachairu, Brasiliensis. I have this coconut back here. It's, a, it's supposed to be a dwarf Simone coconut, but I'm kind of concerned about this wall and how much soil it's actually going to have there. So I'm tempted to dig it up and give it to a friend instead. Um, down here I have a lily koi or um, passion fruit vine. There were two, but I 
fell off the wall and smashed one of the vines and the other one survived. And then I redirected it onto this 2x4 with some upcycled metal grate thing. And I just keep throwing the vines back onto it to keep it there. Here's the air layered um, wax, Jambu wax apple. Sometimes they call them mountain apple here, but it's not technically like the Hawaiian mountain apple. Hasn't lost any leaves. Doesn't show any new growth, but still no leaf drop. So I think once it gets a stronger root system, it'll do well. Here's my caviar lime or Australian finger lime bush. I got a couple of them and it's flowered pretty good so far. Oh, if I move this, you can see all these little flowers. So pretty excited for this guy. Same with this one here. Here's the other one. There's little flowers. There's some baby, baby limes on there. Let's see if we can zoom in. Oh, wrong button. Focus. So it'll probably be a little while. Uh, picked up some white slips, white pineapple slips or sugar loaf slips from a friend. And I just harvested my pineapple off of this one a couple days ago. I probably pulled a little early, but I just with dealing with all the birds, I didn't want to have them take it over. This is a, a Malama avocado from Frankie's grafted. So it's pretty stubby. I kind of like its short nature. I'm probably going to try and keep it short since where it is. Sapadillo or uh, chico fruit and then I got sabras like everywhere here's a um, guabana or uh, soursop from a friend so lots of sabras here's a potomba um, avocado seedling here's another grimmel it's got some growth up here new growth kind of falling down. Um, here's some seedlings from Sabras that I planted. They are just starting to pop up. Some chocolate, pudding fruit, black sapote, some jackfruits, artocarpus, family, some more Sabras. These are from Wahiwa seeds. These are kind of interesting looking growth already. So we'll see how these do. Um, what else? Uh, mulberry that's not doing so hot. I don't think they like the climate here. I keep taking cuttings and just planting them and seeing what happens. Here's a red hybrid, another red. Some more sabra seedlings. Just starting to wake up. So, um, here's a mangosteen, a purple kind, Garcinia mangostana, whatever it is. Some aloe. More long ends. Got my citrus, my my uh, orange tree is doing about. They're they're ready. I've been picking them. So just the standard sabras. Not quite big enough to graft, so I just sell them if people want them. My jackfruits. More sabras in a community pot. All these are jackfruit seedlings popping up. More sabras. Some pomelos or jabong seeds that I planted. So, and some rambu rambutan yellows and reds. Hopefully, those will work out. If not, no big deal. Just plant seeds. Lemon tree. Here's the, the graft I did. The orange, that orange that you just saw, I grafted one of its branches onto here. And it's still growing, still happy. So we'll see how that goes. Probably be a long time before anything happens. Jackfruit. Here's a Jamaican lily koi vine that I need to put in the ground somewhere, somewhere where it'll do well. It's a Mame Sapota. Here's a Patanga tuba. Uh, blackberry jam fruit. 
uh, red sugar apple, no, regular green sugar apple, known as squamosa, or yeah. And then here's a yellow or cabaluto that I got from Frankie's. It's flowering up the storm. Very pretty. Smells yummy. I didn't. I never smelled it before. Wow. Cool. Same. Same with this one. We we're getting some crazy winds, so I kept putting some stakes around it to keep it from smashing around or breaking in half. Hopefully, I just have a little bit of give before it. And I twisted it sideways so that the wind wouldn't catch it. And I have the Patanga tuba, which is much sturdier to kind of keep it in place. Here's another mommy sapota. This one's got kind of a weird branch or trunk where it decided it wanted to be a little crooked at first. Uh, since it's raining, I'll switch gears to the greenhouse. Hopefully the rain will go away. I have to stack a bunch of bricks and heavy things right here because the wind was so nuts that it would, I was worried it would just start yank this thing off out of my yard. Let's see if I can fit in here with this tripod. At least I'm not getting rained on. Okay. All right. So here's some Rivularises. Some giant red crystals. More Rivularis. These ones I need to up pot. It seems like if you put them in a small pot first, they grow faster as far as the top part of the tree. And then, then you up pot them to the deep cell trays and then it can develop more roots and kind of do well. If you plant them direct in there, like I did with these, they kind of just barely start popping up a lot slower. Here's some of those graphs I did. Um, the names might be incorrect. I'm not sure if I mixed up the bags, but either, I think this is, I have it labeled as Spirito, but it could be Sapucaya maybe. And then this I have labeled as Sapucaya, could be, I don't know, PDM or Spirito. Here's one of those graphs I did on video. Here's a Grimmel. And this scion just exploded with growth. It's just super happy. So I must have did something right there. On this side, one of those other Grimmels I did. Remember this community pot that I did it in? They're all kind of junk. And this one took a lot longer to show but when it did, it seems to be pretty happy. So be patient if you do graphs, just wait and wait. So here's one of the questionable graphs. It's labeled as PDM, but my friend said it's not PDM based on the leaf color. So I have no idea. I'm gonna let it just keep growing. I'll wipe the camera and hope that it Oh, it keeps going out of focus. I hope that it uh, shows its true nature. And this is also considered, or at least labeled PDM, as in um, Pluto, or Peluda du Mokuri, the doctor's Javo. So I'm guessing that those ones are mislabeled as Sapukaya. But I don't know, I have to double check everything. So when I planted those seeds, one of those previous videos, these are where they went. So you can see how they're doing. Let's see, they're starting. Oh. I'm trying to change the view. There we go. So they're just starting to wake up. Because they're in this humidity dome, I think it sped things up more because when I planted um, without the humidity dome and put them outside. 
So this is the humidity in here. When I put them outside, just uncovered, the sabras, they didn't, they're just starting to wake up. Or a couple are sprouting, whereas these ones are much further along. So there's these ones. Let's see if I can make this shorter. And then are these guys sprouting yet? Yeah, just starting to sprout over here. down here so these ones I need to up pot these ones I already did and these I also need to up pot some atamoya from seed I planted and the anona squamosa sugar apple here's my cuttings over here, let's see if we can take a peek in here, see if anything's dead or alive. Mm. So there's still some greenness in there. I probably upset some of those by observing them early instead of just setting and forgetting. So it's still a learning process. I'm sure I'm doing everything wrong and my success rate will improve once I do a little bit more effort towards it. Here's some Otto Anderson giant leaf whites. Look at this leaf here. I like this one. It's like decided it wanted to be a split at the end here and here. These grew really quick from seed. And I got some scarlets over here from seed. Um, let's see, what else? There's some red lanterns down there. But here's the greenhouse. Oh, let's see, there's this one I didn't show you guys. Yep, those are sprouting too. catch some of this other stuff before I get dumped on. Uh, this one's looking nice. Here's a uh, Malacachata. Look at the new leaves on that. How cool is that? It's probably my favorite looking one. I don't know. There's a few in the running for my favorite. They're all my favorite when I look at them with new growth. But some reds. Oblongata. This is a Sabra de Cabinho. Um, I forget what this one is. Um, oh, the SP. Plania SP Giante. Novax Vetranta. Vetranta. Sanford. Heshtinga. Um, Gota, I believe, yeah, Gota del El Dorado, um, I think this is a Sabra Guillante, yeah, Coronada Serra Azul, um, man, my memory is bad on this one, it's, yeah, this is a lemongrass, here's a durian, seedling my friend gave me from Big Island I guess Montong I don't know that I don't know anything about durian I was surprised that it's still alive to be honest uh, black pearl or big fruit hybrid polista there's a um, 
what's it called? Oh my gosh, how am I forgetting the name? It's uh, Strigipes, yeah, from, it's a uh, beach kombucha, I believe they call it. And then here's a guacuea, the, not the blue, just the regular. Here's a grafted spirito. A pingo de mil. Here's a um, champa deck that I planted from seed. Here's a couple more grafts I did. So this one is a polista may or may not take. This one, double grafted, clearly did not take. And I just left the new growth on after I knew it wasn't going to take because I'm just going to come further down and turn it into something else eventually. Here's a Vexator blue grape, blue Jabo, whatever you want to call it. Here's a grafted Polista, got attacked by some worms or something, a caterpillar or something, but that's still alive. Here's a, I have it labeled as a Asu Polista, but to me it looks, the leaves looked wider, so I wasn't sure if it was a accidental cross of something so I never ended up selling it or giving it away. I'd probably like grow it out and see what happens to it. Versus I had like this Asu Polista. Um, white Fetranta, another Gota, El Dorado, a Navel, here's the, the Diamantina. Come on focus. It's about to put out some new growth, so that's going to be cool looking. A um, couple white <laughs> white giants over there, and then there's a watermelon that I did a trade for. There's an anomaly seedling. Um, this one was doing really well. And then I moved it down to right there. And then it was getting burnt leaf tips. So then I moved it back. And now it's doing well again. And I don't get much sun right here. So I think if you do get any sort of anomaly or anomaly seedling, they will do better in heavier shade than other places. But just my observations. So Bronca Mill starting to grow. Um, and then this is a uh, yeah Valparaiso Coronada. I'm probably butchering names, so just ignore me. Um, here's a Ruby Honey. This one's starting to take off. This is a Zona de Mata. This is a Ariana UFMG. Try not to disturb them too much. <laughs> Um, what else I got here? Here's that blue, blue guac. No crazy new growth right now. But it's starting to show something. Try and get it to focus. And then some more ceilings, red lanterns, giant red crystals. Into Zervalaris, things like that. These are some of the Sabras that I planted on camera. And they're just starting to pop up. Not a whole lot, like that one, and that one, that one. So probably because this side gets a little bit more sun, they're starting to pop up in the front and they'll start going back. 
and seedlings on seedlings on seedlings. So I think that's a rough, a rough update on how things are going. And I have, everywhere I look, I have more seedlings that I forget about. I'm like, oh, look at those ones. But I'll just sign off with a little bit of new growth here. I just love this one. I'm hoping that I can make some cuttings or some graphs off of this one soon. It just needs to put a little bit more size on it before I feel comfortable lopping any body parts off of it. Because getting something to root is not necessarily a guarantee and so just cutting off of it might just be death. So I'll let it get bigger and then I can start selectively pruning it and then maybe do grafts off of it first until I get my my uh, rooting technique more down, more perfected. Here's another Kambuka. This is my biggest potted one. It might not be the biggest, but it, it looked pretty nice, so I put it in the biggest pot. It's budding out some new buds and growth. Another blackberry jam fruit. These root easily from cutting, so not a bad place to start if you're just wanting to get some success if you have one. I don't see any flowers yet. I'm hoping any day now. Well, hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of an update as I'm getting rained on. Hopefully I don't water damage my phone, but I also fix phones, so I guess I could fix it if I had to. I don't want to. I'd rather just grow some stuff. Here's a peanut butter fruit tree. It's getting to a pretty good size, so I'm hoping that I see flowers soon. If not, I'm gonna just start taking cuttings and try and root some cuttings off of it. Because root everything you can, I guess. There's some blueberry bush that's just flowered, so these are gonna be a bunch of blueberries on here. At least hopefully. They don't do great here, but they do work. So I'm sure with some time they'll, they'll do better. And hopefully this red hybrid, oh wow, it got attacked by something. I did not see this. So I am missed a couple oriental rose beetles apparently. They were just chomping on this thing like crazy, which is understandable. I have it right in the middle of the yard, kind of asking for it. But again, you guys, Enjoy yourselves. Hopefully you're not getting too dry, too cold, too wet. You just have just the right amount of conditions, perfect conditions for your plenies. And may your plants grow green and give you lots of fruits. And I'll see you hopefully another time. I'm gonna try and make some more videos. I just, just fighting with this rain all the time. Oh look, a rainbow just to finish things off. Focus. All right guys, you take care, bye.